Welcome to Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week, we let an AI build a website, learned that there are aliens, and built an e-commerce site using the Jamstack. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite creators from last week, and maybe you'll discover some new content that you didn't know about. But there's even more news in the Stacker News newsletter. Click the link in the description below to sign up. All of the links mentioned will be in the newsletter. If this video helps you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. This is Stacker News. First up in top news, Next.js 11.1 was released, adding ES module support, SWC integration, two times faster data fetching, and much more. I'm not sure how it could get any faster. We also got the TypeScript 4.4 release candidate, Dino 1.13 was released, and Vue 3.2 was released. Here are last week's videos in no particular order. In this video, Anya Kubo gives us a sneak peek at what OpenAI Codex can do. It's pretty crazy. She builds an entire website using only 152 spoken words. Next up, Thomas Wavenfalk shows us how to build a Star Wars memory game using React hooks, TypeScript, styled components, and Vite. That sounds like the perfect combination of technologies. You have to go check that out. In this video from Clement, he answers the question, are software engineers overpaid? Wait, we're not, right? If we are, don't tell our bosses. Have you heard about the Bolgia? They're an aggressive alien species whose sole purpose is to wreck your UI. Help John Frock defeat them by learning UI design. This is a really cool video trailer for a new series from Gary Simon at Design Course. Go check it out. Have you ever tried to center something in CSS? For some, it's the hardest thing to do, but not for Kevin Powell. He can even do it without Flexbox or Grid. In this video, he'll show you how to do it five different ways without using Flexbox or Grid. Next up, Vicky May talks about when to learn JavaScript. It may differ depending on your learning path. Check out this video to get Vicky's thoughts. I featured Colby Fayak last week, but I had to feature him again because he just launched an amazing new course, e-commerce on the Jamstack. In this video, you'll get a preview of the course. You'll learn how to build a responsive grid of products using CSS Grid, dynamically add products from a JSON file, use those products to create a grid in your UI, and add some style to make it all look like an online store. Check out the full course at Level Up Tutorials. In this next video, Chris Coyer from CSS Tricks yaps about Astro. Is it a framework if you can bring your own framework? I'm not sure, but it's really cool. Check out this video to get Chris's thoughts. Do you want to quickly and easily build out a backend for your application, including API routes, user authentication, GraphQL, and much more? And do all of that without hosting your own server? I'm a MongoDB developer advocate, and in this video, I go over MongoDB Realm, which is a backend as a service platform that allows you to connect to your MongoDB Atlas database super easy. Now, on to articles, podcasts, and socials. Here's a great article that I came across from Josh W. Como, The World of CSS Transforms. If you want to learn about CSS Transforms, you have to read this one. And if you haven't seen Josh's site, go check it out. The added sound effects are awesome. For podcasts, give the latest episode of Syntax a listen. Scott and Wes talk about the basics of building a website. If you're a beginner, then this is the perfect episode for you. Instagram also has a great coding community. Here's a highlight from last week. In this one from Coding Den, you'll learn about CSS pseudo elements and learn some of the great common use cases for the before and after pseudo elements. And if you're on TikTok, be sure to go check out the VS Code account there. In this one, you'll learn five HTML tags that you didn't know were a thing. Again, there's more info in the newsletter. The link is in the description below. I hope this was helpful, like this video to help me out, and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.